Combinero is something of a footnote in video gaming history, I guess you could say, because it marks the return of Atari. Atari haven't made new IPs for quite some time, and Combinera is their return back to original fresh IPs in gaming. And it's a cracker to boot. Combinero is a very difficult but addictive hand and eye coordination, forward planning focused puzzle platformer. And I know that sounds a bit like word salad, but I'll explain what I mean as we go through the review. I'll be totally upfront as well, this game has over 300 levels, I have not completed this game, but I have got past halfway and feel like I know enough about this game and the way how it works to be able to recommend and explain this game in a way that makes sense. But take it from me, this game is hard as nails and I couldn't see anyone else that's got review codes getting far f further than I had with at least the PS5 version that I was reviewing. In Combinera, the goal of every level is to be able to combine balls together so that it becomes one combined ball. Ta-da! You will have several balls in the level though, and the trick with this is that they all move synchronously. So you press left, they all move left, right, they all move right. You have two different types of jump, a small jump and a big jump. And depending on what you do with those, they'll all jump small or big together too. And so this is where the hand and eye coordination comes into play, because you might be moving one ball towards one side of the level, but the other ball on a different part might be falling off a ledge or rolling into spikes or being shot at by a green like missile or causing issues where they get splattered by a blue wall. All of this kind of comes into effect and so you have to kind of watch the level before you begin briefly and then go right now I know what I'm doing and off and away I go. Every level is timed and there is a kind of time trial element to this game as you go along and most levels also have crowns available and these are like extra challenges where you need to go out of the way to collect the crown and then still be able to combine the ball together to collect the crowns for bonus secret levels that you can unlock as you go. The secret levels are absolutely nuts <laughs> and so they are going to be like the ultimate challenges I think for some of these people and if you've got time trial in, in your blood you will be going absolutely nuts for Combinera because the times are very, very um, unforgiving is what I'd say. They're very tight. So inside Combinera, there are five different ball types that you have available and they're different colours and they do different skills. The idea is that when you combine those balls together, they then collectively have the skills of whatever the balls are that you've combined. The white ball is just your plain, simple ball. It can do its small and big jump and move around and that's it. Pink balls are able to wonk through pink spikes, which is very handy because if a white ball hits on it, or any other colour ball for that matter hits on a spike, they die. But if it's pink, then you're fine. If you're able to combine a white and pink one, then obviously the white ball can now go through pink spikes, for example. You then get yellow balls, and they're able to break through yellow walls. And whilst they will be walls or platforms that you can break through and then kind of uh, continue on your path. Quite a lot of levels then get designed around the fact that you'll need to kind of roll through breakable platforms and try and keep yourself going. Then you'll get the green ball and the green ball almost acts as a shield in a way. You'll get green missiles that will fire off across the screens in various different levels and the green ball can absorb that whereas everyone else will get killed if they hit those green missiles. Again, if you roll in a green ball to say a pink ball, that can then absorb missiles but then because it's pink it can also go through spikes. So again, you're thinking ahead of how do I merge these together in the right way, in the right order, so that I can get all the balls together rolled up into one, Katamari style. <laughs> the final ball is blue, and what this does is that there's um, lots of like blue, I'd call them like squishy, closable doors or different walls, and what they do is they squash everyone else um, or hold everyone else back, but a blue ball can absorb and like go through it without any problems. So that's the kind of fifth and final colour. All of these combine together in different ways. And so you'll start getting anti-gravity levels where some of them will be like rolling on the ceiling and you need to get them in position so that when you do a big jump, they might combine with the one on the floor together. You'll start getting uh, like portals where they'll kind of wander through one area and pop out somewhere else. The different chapters offer different ideas as you go through the game itself. 
and it keeps things fresh because you don't get to play with the same style of puzzle for very long before it changes it up or increases the difficulty and makes you think of another thing that you've got to kind of juggle alongside everything else that you do. If I had one complaint about Combinera, it would be specifically on jumps around um, breakable platforms. So this would be if you've got a yellow ball and you're trying to jump across yellow platforms. I felt like I was doing the same thing every time and triggering jumps at the same point, but getting different results. Sometimes the ball would just fall through and I would like drop down and that would quite often mean whack whack, game over, restart that level very quickly. And then other times it would register the jump and I would jump off quite far. And although that kind of sounds like a, like a meh comment on its own, quite a lot of levels as things get more complex rely on that as a jumping mechanic and a way to progress through the game and actually complete the level. And so I found that an element of frustration that would creep in in what is otherwise a really solidly put together and what I would say fair game. The game is hard as nails and it's very difficult, but when I died in every other circumstance, I felt like it was my fault. Either my hand or eye coordination had gone wrong, I was busy looking at some balls over on one corner of the screen and forgot something else, or I hadn't lined things up correctly so that they couldn't combine and therefore I'd got myself into a winless situation. All except for those occasions where sometimes I felt like the yellow um, breakable platform broke too quick and so you couldn't really register exactly where the jump should take place. Aside from that, this game is an absolute blast to play. It is super difficult. Anyone that's looking for a challenging puzzle platformer, Combinera will be right up your street for it. And so if you don't mind being frustrated or sitting there and being like, it's my 30th attempt, and then getting it through and feeling the justification and like, ha ha that you've done it, this is a game that provides that in spades and hence why I've not completed it because I've been playing it for hours um, and I'm still on like about a level about 160 something. Um, plugging my way through, I'm getting there slowly, but I've spent enough hours with this game to know that this is well put together. I can recommend it wholeheartedly for that specific group of people that will lap this up. You can swap out the colours for colourblind palettes should you need to in the options. So that's available and makes the game more accessible for people too. But yeah, great one. Written review will be over on highplanegames.com later today. If you've got any comments or questions, drop them down below. And if you pick it up, good luck. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higherplanenetwork. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.